Well, when it comes to choosing a profession, I always say go in the direction that makes you happy and one that you're passionate about. Well, that statement hit home when I interviewed CHKD Child Life Specialist Brian Saletti. His patients range from three years old to mid-20s, all whom are battling cancer. And his job is not as an easy one, but all it takes is a simple smile to see why it's more than just a profession for him. His remarkable and inspiring story is this week's I Am Hampton Roads. My title here is Child Life Specialist, and what I do here is just try to make the atmosphere for the um, kids a little bit more, you know, kid-friendly, um, enjoyable. You know, I prepare them for procedures, um, help answer some of their questions that they may have, um, and also provide, you know, family support as well. I'll look at the patient board and see who's coming in for the day, what their plan of action is, if they're coming in for a chemotherapy infusion or for a procedure with sedation, or if they're getting admitted for chemo. Um, and you know, I'll write these names down and um, basically we'll kind of plan the day from there to see you know, what age categories we've got coming in. I've always wanted to work with kids in a, in a medical care setting, um, particularly in a hospital. My freshman year of college, my uh, youngest um, sister-in-law, but at the time it was my, my girlfriend's sister, um, she was diagnosed with a, a cancer um, when we were freshmen in college. And that was really the first time that I became exposed to the world of childhood cancer. Um, I got to learn a little bit more and, you know, during spring breaks and summer breaks, you know, I would go visit my girlfriend, now my wife, I would go visit her and, you know, I got to see firsthand what it was like going through cancer treatment for, for a child. And, you know, the struggles that her family went through and, you know, what it did to, you know, to, to the rest of the family. Um, and I really you know, got real close with, with her sister. Um, her name is Beth. Um, she's now um, in, her, uh, in her 20s now. Uh, she was diagnosed at the age of nine. So, um, you know, I'm extremely proud of her and what she accomplished. So that's really what, what got me into the whole, you know, world of pediatric cancer. As hard as it is watching these kids go through this treatment, um, there's, there are a lot of rewards. Um, seeing these kids come in and, and how much they grow, um, they, they go from a point of, you know, being deer in the headlights to just ultimately, you know, being a, a super person. We're all one big family here, you know. We, we don't hide things from each other. Um, the staff, you know, we all look out for one another. Um, you know, we try to do a lot of fun things on the side. You know, it's not all doom and gloom all the time. Um, but I think for me personally, it's, you know, talking with other people. You know, I look to my family for strength, you know, my wife. She is just, she's a rock for me. Um, she's held my hand many times and, and let me cry on her shoulders, you know, at the end of many days coming from here. All it takes is for that one child to come in here and smile at you um, or remember you from 10 years ago. You know, you, you, they may have been in here when they were three years old and now they're 13 and they're coming back for just regular checkups. You know, just seeing that one child, that's all it takes. Um, and it kind of brings you back to, okay, that's why I'm here. You know, cancer doesn't favor one race or sex or religion, um, you never know who it's going to strike next. Um, so we tell the families, you're not alone in this scenario. Take it one day at a time. You know, that's all we tell the families. Don't look too far into the future because you'll, you'll drive yourselves crazy. Take it one step at a time, you know, one day at a time. There's lots of great support staff here. You know, the nurses and the, and the physicians, we've got a wonderful staff here. Um, and everybody's here for one reason, and that's these kids. What an amazing day I had there. And you know, March is National Child Life Month. CHKD, of course, has child life specialists all throughout the hospital, and that's one of their unique features, is that they help kids cope with the hospital stay, be it a chronic illness or a broken bone, doesn't matter, whatever the case, they're, they're there to help kids get through hard times. And I also made some new friends when I was there. Tate was the one taking the picture. Jasmine, she's showing me how to cook, right. and then Levante and all the other many kids there. But my heart goes out to him and what he does. Yeah, it's so, it's so unfair that those kids are dealing with that. Great job by Brian and the entire staff over at CHKD. Great Absolutely. job. Absolutely. Thanks. We'll be right back.